where it's come out. Look at that. Right next to the cooker, dude. He'll sleep soundly in this bed. And he's putting on my head. No, don't do that, please. <laughs> Look at that, man. They've been living in there forever, haven't they? Yeah. And just to put this into perspective, what Ricky's saying, this is little footprints that have built up over years, maybe. We'll make you rap free forever. <laughs> Ricky, mate, I don't know what to expect on this one but they've gone straight in with the extreme rat division of pest interceptors, which is us. <laughs> I dread to think what we're gonna find in here. Let's go and have a look. Let's see. Wow, so straight away you can notice the old, everyone's favorite. And of course this will stop a rat getting in, won't it? <laughs> you can Don't see. use expanding foam. It's absolutely pointless, and if anything, rats really enjoy chewing on expanding foam, so you're kind of giving them a play toy. Let's carry on looking. Someone was living here up until a few days ago. Believe it or not. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that? Oh my god. The old little nipper has worked well there. Look where it's come out of. Look at that. Right next to the cooker. Oh, uh, well, you can see where that. Look at the back of here. I don't even know where to look first. You can smell the damp in here. There's water all on the floor. I wonder if they've been chewing the pipes. And well, that's you can been see where they've been going up and down this pipe. Look, look at all the little footprints. Look, as they've been climbing up into there. Oh, there's a nice big hole going through the wall there. You can see all the smear marks, look. Yeah. Look at all those smear marks on the inside there. Chew marks on the end of the pipe as well. <laughs> this is a great one, this is. Oh, jeez. There was damp everywhere. That's, you can see all the damp coming up the walls there, look. Would you like to keep your, uh, your pots and pans in these covers, Rick? No, it's a bit like the haunted house, this. So haunted. that's the kitchen. Oh! What's this? So oh that, man, it's all the cavity wall insulation. The cavity wall insulation, yeah. And then we can see right there. Oh, perfect little rat hole, isn't it? Perfect little rat hole going in there. It's an air brick the other side of that. Oh wow, look at all this stuff they've kicked out. But that's why there've been There's people living here, here though. That's the thing that's scary. Oh, what's going on down that little area down there? Let's keep on, keep looking. I was told that there was a sofa in here and the rats had actually made a nest inside the sofa. Oh wow, where do we even start with this one? So then you've got, I don't know what's going on here. That shouldn't be anything to do with it. That's some great gas there, isn't it? That Jesus. This whole place is like a massive death trap. It's, it's a health and safety nightmare. Do we dare go upstairs? A fire hazard. Oh look! Oh Christ, yeah, I missed that one. So that's the main feed, electrical feed for the house, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's 240 volts. Wow. And the only thing that's protecting that piece of electric, I believe, it's lined in lead, which for a rat's teeth is uh, it's nothing, is it? It's absolutely nothing. Like a nice little snack. Oh, look at this. We're just sitting on the toilet and you've got your rats coming up through here. Look, they've chewed all the lino. And you can see how clean that is in there, as we like to say a lot of our videos. So the rats have been going up and down there and they've kind of cleaned it all off. Yeah. Looks like a little another hole here. there they could be getting round. Let's have a look in here. And the signs of rats underneath there as well. Hmm. Should we go and have a look at the other rooms? <laughs> Do we have to? What's that? There's a lifted bit of carpet in the corner. I think the rat's been trying to get out there and it's pulled that back maybe. <laughs> been chewing at it in the corner, look. Pull it back, see if there's a hole there. <laughs> no. no. Look at all this, this mess. Oh, look, here's another hole. That's well used, isn't it, that? Yeah. 
And up from here, they'll be coming through there as well. Look at the damp in here. How's that even possible upstairs? Well, it's probably because they've... Oh, leaking roof tile, probably. Tubes with so many pipes. And this is where someone was keeping their clothes in here. I think there's just one more bedroom to have a... A squeeze at. <laughs> Same again here, look. Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. You'll sleep soundly in this bed. How much for a night? <laughs> I would want... How much? How much to sleep in this house for a week? I'd want at least a million. <laughs> I really would. I'm, I'm cheap, I'll go for a hundred grand. <laughs> hundred grand if I've got an air rifle with me. Well, the truth of the matter is, if these people had harangued us, we could have supplied them with our rat-free lifetime guarantee. And if they'd have done that a year ago or two years ago when this all started, this would never have got to this position. So just remember, rat-free lifetime guarantee. Once we say you're rat-free, we'll make you rat-free forever. <laughs> Let's get some trap trick. Put some cameras up and we'll see just how scary it is in here. Yeah. On a nightmare job like this, we're going to be using our old friend. It's a tombstone trap, otherwise known as the black cat rat trap. But if you want to really know how to set these traps, you might want to watch this video here if you're watching on mobile. Um, I might actually put a playlist on the end and you can see how we set these properly. But I'll just have to give you a quick, a quick show. So this is the trigger pin that goes into our favourite, the old licorice all sorts. So that can move up and down and then basically what we do is I put some extra little free offerings in the bowl right up to the edges and then that's ready to set and we just set it by lifting up listen for that click and that's it all set all set and ready to go and I'm hoping that that camera up there I wouldn't usually put these in the middle of the room but on a job like this one, I don't think it really matters where <laughs> you're going to put the traps. I think this is a pretty bad infestation, as you've seen. So don't forget, watch that video. Can you imagine being sat on this toilet? <laughs> Look, I've already shown you this on that other bit of the video, but I'm going to put a couple of traps right next to that. There's one. I can't think of anywhere more horrible to go for to go to the toilet, can you? No. <laughs> Literally. Oh. Well, I've been to worse toilets abroad, but. <laughs> but this is the new game. We expect our toilets <laughs> not to have rats looking at us. Let's see what we've done on our first visit. So we've got tracking dust down where we can. We've got a couple of traps right here next to the lovely. Uh, <laughs> the throne as we like to call it in England then we've got a couple more traps inside the lovely wardrobe we'll leave them in peace because the more peace that they've got the better it is we've got another entry point just down here and again you can see the tracking dust on there that's going to tell us a load of information on our next visit and then in here doesn't seem to be that attractivity in this room does that it's not brilliant, but compared to the rest of the place. So then we've got a couple of traps down here. The ones on the floor. We've got another four traps here. Now you might be wondering why on earth I'm leaving a dead rat there. Well, we're going to be back in a couple of days. This could be really awful because rats love to eat their friends and family. So let's see if we get that on this camera, that rat being eaten by its brothers and sisters. We've got another couple of traps in here and some tracking dust again inside there to check out that hole in the wall. And then we've got this huge hole in the wall here. Again, you can see the tracking dust. We've got some traps. Camera there, another, another there. camera here to catch everything that's going on. Wish us luck. We've only had all these traps down for uh, well, less than 24 hours. We were just passing and we thought, we've got the keys, let's go and check the traps. We've already caught three or four juveniles in the space of 24 hours, like I say. So I think there's plenty, plenty of rats in this house, like we suspected. We've come back, we've seen this, so we're going to put even more traps down. We've put another couple of cameras down as well. We've even got 
one trapinator trap so this is licensed for rats as well as squirrels and things like that so let's get this baby set this is the dock 200 and then the waddington trigger boom slowly 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 and that is set and i'm going to put this one rick over by that hole that's coming up through the uh, through the floorboards. In fact, I'm going to put a bit of the bait down in the hole. It makes me laugh, this hole. It's actually like something out of a cartoon. Drop a couple of them down there. And then I'll put my trapinator trap with its entrance point. Oop, I didn't seal it up. That's all locked. You can see everything in there. We want the rats to go through that hole at that end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. So when Ratty comes out of there, he's going to find that. Or the black cat rat trap. We'll put that nearby as well. And we'll see which one gets the action. So shall we show you our quarry so far? So we've got this one here. I might as well rebate this one as well then, haven't I? Look at that one coming up through where we said they were coming up from. So I'll get that one rebated. These are only juveniles though. That is one broken neck look. Let's put that back. <laughs> it helps to be a little bit sick in this job. I'm going to leave the carcasses down. There's no one living here at the moment so if the rats want to eat each other, we'll find it on the camera, won't we? Did we have another one in there somewhere? Oh, no, it was down at the bottom of the stairs. So we can put another few traps in there. There's another one here that we'll need to rebait. Look at that one. Right across the eyes. <laughs> that's almost, that's almost, look at this. Hello, 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 hello. It's a, very, it's a baby one, isn't it? That? And you can see all the tracking dust on its feet, look. I've got the torch, yeah. Yeah, there's his little footprints. And shine it on his feet, look. Yeah. And there's all his feet, look, all glowing. And his face. And his tail. And That's his the tail. giveaway, isn't it, the tail? Yeah. It's a bit too light in here at the minute for that to even show us anything. Might have to come here up on a night time, isn't it? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Right, we'll come back in a few more days then, dude. I think that's it then. We'll come back tomorrow and see how many more rats we can catch before we put an end to this. So we're back today at the rat house from hell. We've got the go ahead to do a survey. We've only been here 10 minutes so far. Take a look at this, what I found, Rick. So I go along here, look lovely and clean. And then all of a sudden, there's going to be a left hand turn there, look, and all this soil, and it's all trodden down on the surfaces. You can see where it's all like tree being right. trodden down. This green here is some dye that we've just put around the drain around the corner. Okay, Rick, pour the super dye down that drain. Here it goes. Here it goes. Let's see. Yes, there it is. There it is. Perfect. Yeah, coming out of there. And that's how the rats are getting in that house there. And you can see all the rattles in point of that paper. Yeah. Rattle there. Rattle. Rattle. Looks Rattle. like we've nearly solved another rat nightmare, dude. Yep, hopefully. Uh, and that dye has come straight out into here. But there's more to come. Let's get surveying the other pipes, Rick, yeah? And lo and behold, we found another problem. Here you can go, look. So this is the main channel going through. This is where some unscrupulous builder at some point has just smashed a hole in, put a pipe in, and then you've got this big old jaggedy gap around it. Can't quite see it 100%, but yeah, that's enough for a rat to get out. Definitely enough. Yeah, all you need, 13 mil. So if you can get your thumb in it, that way round, a rat can get through that footlong rat, so. Go on then, Rick, let's carry on. Let's see what other things we can find. So, we've seen on the video from the survey, there's loads of issues down there. 
We're going to get those all sorted over the next few days. We're going to have a look on the trail cams that we left here. Don't forget, I've only been down for four days, I think it's been in total. We're going to see how much activity there is. They're getting a bit suspicious of the traps, I think. But again, we'll see that on the videos. You, we're as interested as you might be interested in what we found on the trail cams. Here it is. Take a look at this. Look at this little juvenile rat. That's the bottom of our tripod that we had a camera on. Luckily the camera uh, tripod broke and it started pointing down at the floor. But here's another juvenile. And that's the gas meter there, or the electric meter. Gas meter that is. And uh, you don't want rats and their rather sharp teeth around anything like electrics or gas pipes or anything. I mean, it's just waiting for a fire to happen. And there's a bigger rat there that jumped up on the top. And you can see this one here, look, look how good they are at climbing. And that people will tell you in the pest control industry that they're not good climbers. Well, they someone wants to have a word with this rat, don't they? And this is the bedroom. I, would, I don't know how much you'd have to pay me to sleep in here. Imagine that one. <laughs> not far away from where you'd asleep. Horrible, horrible. Yeah. Take a look at this. People don't believe me when I say to them that the rats get out of sewers, into your cavity walls, and then up into your rooms, especially your loft first. Let me show you this, let me show you this. So this is the bay window of the house. Let's have a look. This was all full of insulation, look. This is old insulation. The, where the rats have been treading over it, look, if you don't believe me, that's like kind of, in your wall insulation, whatever it's called. Wall insulation? Cavity wall insulation. Cavity wall insulation, that's what it's called. And then if you look down here, look. Are you picking that off? You can see where all the rats have trodden down all the, the cavity wall insulation. Look at it down that side there. Try and get my torch in there as well. Oh, one minute, you can see the rats' claws on here, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Claws, whatever they call them. <laughs> Fingers, thumbs, I don't know. Talons. But as you can see, it's absolute proof that rats get into your cavity walls. This cavity is joined to this cavity, which is joined to that cavity, which is goes straight up into your loft. And then each one of those cavities is joined to under your floors and your ceilings, in the, under the floors as well, because where they knock a joist into the wall to hold the ceilings up, there's a big gap either side and that connects completely to this. So whether you've got rats in your loft, rats in the kitchen, it's nearly always going to be something to do with drainage and it's going to be always to do with your cavity walls and here's the proof. Just to add to the confusion and the different rat routes into this building, we've also finally got inside this cupboard and when we went inside this could be why our licorice all sorts aren't quite tempting the rats because in here Looks like the tenant has left a load of bins and it's all full of food. Oh man, I hate rats. Look, you can see where they've been going in here. They've literally cut yeah. through the doors and gone in either side. Yeah, let me see it there. Right, let's... Uh... Oh! I'm going to let you do it and see if any rats run anywhere. It's the food bins. Look, I've been all through the bins, man. Don't forget to recycle. <laughs> There's plenty of cans in there. Oh, if one jumps out of here, man, I will be screaming like. Oh, Jesus. Rats have done yeah, look, they've dug all the bags out. Got in every bag looking for scraps of food. Yeah, they've gone. Oh, they've loved that bag. There's all yeah, chocolates there must have been and some stuff. Food in that one. We'll, we'll come back to you in a minute once we've got all this all out. Get in there. I really don't like my job some days. I do really. Look at this where the rats have been squeezing them underneath here. Look, look at them. Talk about smear marks. Wow. I think, and that's a classic as well. Look at that. There, is, there is actually a rat hole right in that corner, right in the very corner. But you can't see it because right, always... I'm going to get that big piece of wood out. Okay, I'll oh, stand. Oh, oh, oh. I'll stand back. All right, thanks. 
But look at that, the smear marks on that. Oh, the yeah. Camera's, the camera's not even picking that up that well. There's smear marks right there. That must have been from old kitchen units. Pull that down there a bit. Look at that one. Yeah, that's why they that's why they've been skeptical of the traps. They've got other food sources. Yeah, oh my god, they've absolutely shredded that to pieces. KFC. KFC. <laughs> that's why. I love the KFC. Everyone loves the KFC. Oh my god, look at the smear marks on the top of that pipe. Oh Jesus. Jesus. That is real bad. I'm gonna get my torch on that so the people can see. God, it they're stinks. Those, it absolutely stinks in there. On this bit. So they've been squeezing through all them brick holes, haven't yeah, they? I've liked it in here for a long time, I think. Fill it comes. And this is all the insulation that we can see inside where we had the camera going through there. Look how it's all trodden wow, down. Wow, look at that hat. It's look, it's oh, all... that's gross. Got... And he's putting it on my head. No, don't do that, please. <laughs> look at that, man. They've been living in there forever, haven't they? Yeah. And just to put this into perspective, what Ricky's saying, this is little footprints that have built up over years, maybe. Years. Right, here we go again. You know, it'd be quicker. A hand grenade. Yeah. <laughs> put petrol. Putting a match to it. Look at this again. This is all smear marks on that, look. Right. Oh wow, look at that, you see the root, can't you, that they've been going yeah. through it. Oh, that's gross. No kitchen units. They've literally been like looking for every last scrap of food rather than, well, why would you go outside if I risk it? There's mm -hmm. cats, there's badgers, there's hawks, there's humans. But if you've got a load of food, why go out? <laughs> There's a new tyre here and all. Yeah, brand new cam belt. Nice. They've kind of chewed this up just to... Yeah, it's like they made a nest out of it, haven't they? That's a cool oh. bottle. <laughs> and for all we know, there could be a rat's nest right in the bottom of this, couldn't there? Oh, oh to have Pino and Maze at the Terriers oh, again, man. eh? They'd love this. It's, it's, yeah. They'd be through that like nobody's business. Pumping to you, me or... I mean, we have took the majority of their food away. The rest of that's just paint and cans. So I think that might be our job, kind of. Run for food, well, I found another recycling bin. <laughs> A whole bin? Sure, that's because this old stuff they'll have gone through this for years, won't they? Yeah, that rat hole I was talking about is right there. Right the there. Torch. Oh, yeah, down that far corner. We'll be down in the far corner on the it? left there. Yeah, right where his torch is. They're going it? over the top of there as well, yeah. which would be where similar the meter is. to where those other traps are. Uh, oh, and here, look here. Oh, that's a definite one there. Oh, and here, and there. Oh, ah, that'll be where they've been getting in through yeah. that, uh, through the thing, the air brick. You look at home in there. <laughs> <Can't> move in. <laughs> wow, what a job. The rat house from hell. Here you go. It's as simple as this. Even in the rat house from hell. It's taken us three weeks to de-rat this place. We've just caught the last rat. We know it's the last rat because we've had cameras up all over the place. There's no more activity in the house, just where that food source was that we only discovered uh, recently. So we removed all that, we've caught the last rat, but because we do such a diligent job, all we're gonna do now is put some monitoring baits down just to make sure we have got every single rat. And remember, if you've got rats and it's a rat house from hell, don't put up with it, come to us and get our rat free lifetime guarantee. There'll be a link right here if you're watching on mobile. If not, look in the comments and you'll see rat free lifetime guarantee. And believe me, when we guarantee it, we do the job right. And that's why we can guarantee it. I think that's the last one, Ricky. This house is rat free 
and we'll guarantee it for life.